A fun, steep descent awaits us following Leafdale and White City today down into Howardstown. But the landscape looks much like the days before, with rolling hills and many rivers. We'll pass some water features like Chestnut Fork Creek, Walters Creek, the South Fork of the Nolan River, and McDougal Lake. There will only be one opportunity for services today on our way to Bardstown, a Valero gas station in Buffalo, Kentucky. Good morning, it's 10 after 6 a.m. on Sunday, July 7, day 53. And we crossed into the Eastern time zone yesterday, Kentucky, the, the western, westernmost part of the state is on central and at some point yesterday we crossed into eastern so 5 a.m departure would have been meant departing in darkness but um, here 6 10 a.m get a little bit of light our destination today is bardstown where we're staying in our first hotel in 14 days and just uh 57 miles today and uh, just pretty fair climbing, nothing nothing too scary ahead, except maybe some dogs. I am passing through the town of Sonora, Kentucky. Let me tell you, it is nothing like the Sonoran Desert of Arizona. Not a single saguaro cactus in sight. Nowhere I look. Here in Sonora, Kentucky. Home still decorated for 4th of July, bunting on, on the decks, patios. Very patriotic city here. Here's I-65, passing through Sonora, Kentucky. Had we taken interstates all the way across the country, which I know isn't legal, but had we, we would have been in Yorktown by now with the miles we had done. But it wouldn't have been as scenic. So I still have like 950 miles to go. Not on interstates. No option for a bicycle entry. the Bank of Buffalo, Kentucky uses a Buffalo nickel as their logo. That's fun. Yeah! All right! We're reaching Kentucky distillery country. Look at that building. That is unlike anything else I've seen in Kentucky so far. What is that behind me? Is it a maximum security prison? Is it Soviet era apartment housing? Is it the projects? No, this is another huge distillery complex. Wow. Bardstown is the first town I encountered in Kentucky with several major bourbon distilleries. Heaven Hill, Barton 1792, and Lux Row Distillers. Bourbon is American whiskey that meets the following requirements. Number one, it must be at least 51% corn. And number two, it must be stored in a container of charred oak. Bardstown is home to a whiskey museum and the Old Talbot Tavern, that was constructed in 1779 and saw notable patrons like frontiersman Daniel Boone and President Abraham Lincoln. Welcome to the old Bardstown Inn. That looks like a decent outdoor pool, nice clean water, and some comfortable lounge chairs. Just certainly lacking some shade out here. And there's the entrance lobby and we are right off of the Transamerica Trail. That is the Transamerica Trail right there. And we are staying in room 106. Let's give you a tour. I think it's a pretty decent hotel room. 
Haven't stayed in a hotel in two weeks until today. Nice and clean, does not have that smoky smell. Room for the stretch limo here. Paul has yet to arrive. He got a later start than me, but you'll see him later. And nice bathroom. I already got my shower, feeling clean. There we go. Shower head height passes the test. Nice work. A McDonald's miracle happened today. First of all, I could get a large water. That's wonderful. And then I ordered a McFlurry, but they brought to the table two McFlurries. They said, we made two, do you want two? I said, why not? 